Hello students, myself Gayatri Sachin Hulageri. We are studying the fifth standard maths multiples and factors and we have studied about the multiples. Now we are studying the factors. Now we will discuss problems on factors. We will see some examples. So first example, find all the factors of 60. They have asked all the factors of 60. So what we will do, we will go from the table of 1. For our clarification or for our easiness, we will go from the table of 1. So, 1 into 60 equals to 60. Next, in the table of 2, 2 into 30 equals to 60. In the table of 3, 3 into 20 equals to 60. 4, 4 into 15 equals to 60. So, in the table of 5, 5 into 12 equals to 60. In the table of 6, 6 into 10 equals to 60. In the tables of 7, 8, 9, we do not find 60. So, next one will be 10, 10 into 6 equals to 60. In the table of 11, we do not find. Next, 12 into 5 equals to 60. In the tables of 13 and 14, we do not find 60. So, 15 into 4 equals to 60. Next, 16, 17, 18 and 19 the tables of in all those four tables we don't find 60 so next 20 into 3 equals to 60 in the same way the next table will be 30 30 into 2 equals to 60 after that the number itself in the table of 60 16 to 1 equals to 60 so now what I can say these are all the factors of 60 all the factors I can say these all the factors of 60 this is very much easy okay we should go from the table of 1 and we can find out all the factors without skipping any factor this is the easiest method where we can find the factors without missing any factor okay so therefore factors of 60 are Factors of 60 are what are these? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 12, 15, 10, 12, 15, 20, 30, 60. 20, 30, and 60. These are all the multiples of 60. If at all, sometimes they may ask, write any four factors of 60. That will be very easy whenever we can take four numbers and we can write the four factors. When they ask for all the factors, we have to follow this method. It will be easier for you. Okay? Let's see another example. Encircle the factors of 36. Here we have to find in which table we can find the number 36. Okay, just we have to check it out and we encircle the number. Okay, in the table of num 1, we will find all the numbers. So the first factor will be 1 in the table of 2, of course, 2 into 18, 3. We can find 3 twelves are 4, 4 nines are in the table of 5. We don't find 6, 6, 6 is 36 and in 7, no, in the 8, no, 9, 4 is in the table of 10, we don't find, in the table of 11, we don't find, in the table of 12, 12, 3 is in the table of 14, we don't find, in the table of 15, we don't find, in the table of 18, 18, 2 is and again the table of 20, we don't find 36, and again 36, it is the greatest factor of itself. So, now we have encircled all the factors of 36. Like this, we will find the problems on factors. Now, we will study the factor tree. What is factor tree? They will give a pattern like this and go on, we, we should go on filling these gaps. Means we have to find the factors by this method that is called factor tree. So now what they have given in the first example is 72. 72 can be written as the product of two numbers we know. So how we can write? We can write 2 into 36. Therefore, 72 is equal to 2 into 36. And what we can do further here, 32 we cannot multiply. With 
any number other than 1. So, we can leave this one. When we go to 36, again we can write 36 as the product of two numbers. How we can write 2 into 18 like that. 2 into 18. 72 is equal to. Now, <coughs> how we have written the 36? 2 into 18. Again we are leaving the 2 and 18. How we can write 18? Again, we can write 18 as the product of two numbers, 2 into 9, therefore it is, 18 is 2 into 9, therefore 72 is equal to 2 into 2, how we have written 18 here, 2 into 9, again we are leaving 2 and 9, how we can write, we can write 9 as the product of two numbers like 3 into 3, so here what we can say it is 3 into 3 therefore how we can write 72 2 into 2 into 2 into 9 how we have written 3 into 3 now we have solved this back to 3 and we have written the 72 like this now we will see the second example 64 they have given and we have to fill up this pattern and we have to write the uh, factors of 64. So, we will start with this one. How we can write 64? 2 into 32. Like this we can write. Therefore, 64 is equal to 2 into 34. Further, 2 we cannot multiply with any other number than 1. So, we leave that 32 can be written as... 2 into 16 we can write this one how we can write 2 into 16 therefore 64 what it becomes 2 into how we have written 2 into 16 again we leave 16 we can write 16 as the product of two numbers how we can write 2 into 8 we can write this as like 2 into 8 now what it becomes 64 is equal to 2 into 2 into 16 is like 2 into 8 further we are leaving 2 and 8 we can write as the product of two numbers this is 2 into 4 we can write what we have done here is 2 into 4 therefore 64 is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 how we have written 8 that is 2 into 4 further how we can write 4 as the product of 2, two into 2. Therefore, 2 into 2. We have found out all the factors of 64 like 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Lastly, 4 is 2 into 2. Now we have found out the factors of 64. Now we will see the third example. It's a bit different. See, what we did here they were giving some numbers and we were going finding out the factors now what they have given they have given the prime factors and again in the reverse we have to find the number where we have to go like this so what we know basically how we have to do this one is we know that any number is a product of two numbers we know the fact so what we can write here they have given 3 into 3 and 5 and this is the number. So we can multiply these two numbers to get this number. Therefore, 3 into 5 is equal to what? 50. This number is the multiple of these two numbers. Product of these two numbers. So 3 into 5 is equal to 15 we have found in the same way this number is product of these two numbers therefore 2 into 3 is equal to what 6 6 we found these two numbers then what remains the main number we have to find out and here they have given 15 we have found out 15 and 6 and this is the product of 
these two numbers we know that so we can multiply these two numbers whatever we have found out 15 and 6 50 into 6 is equal to 90 so therefore 90 is the number that we wanted and we completed the this factor 3 let's check it out 90 can be written as 15 into 6 further 15 can be written as 3 into 5 and 6 can be written like 2 into 3 so whatever the sum we have done is correct